Turkey has flown the first example of its Herjet jet trainer and light attack aircraft in the latest milestone for a country that's rapidly developing new homegrown aerospace technologies. While the Herjet is primarily expected to provide training to future Turkish fast jet pilots, it also offers a significant level of performance and advanced avionics, making it suitable for combat missions, too, and it's even been touted to possibly operate from the Turkish Navy's innovative hybrid drone carrier assault ship, the TCG Anadolu. The Herjet took off for the first time on April 23 from the main Turkish Aerospace Industries Thai, facility outside Ankara. An official video, plus unofficial footage that appeared on social media, show the unpainted Herjet accompanied by an F-16 fighter jet during its maiden flight. The flight reportedly lasted 26 minutes, and saw the Herjet reach a speed of 250 knots, and an altitude of 14,000 feet. The event has been met with considerable fanfare in Turkey, because the Herjet is the first jet-powered manned aircraft to be developed from scratch in the country, and it will also be the first Turkish-made jet with supersonic performance. The maiden flight was preceded by engine tests at the US-supplied General Electric F404 turbofan, which began in February. Taxi tests then the following month. Overall. The project has been run at an impressive pace, something that's becoming an increasingly prominent feature of Turkey's aerospace programs. As well as the Herjet, other notable projects include the TFX Next Generation Fighter, the Anchor 3 Low Observable Flying Wing Unmanned Combat Air Vehicle, UKIV, and the fighter-like Baraktik Kizilelma drone, that is already in flight testing. Thai only began work on the Herjet project in 2017, and the company has an aggressive schedule for the future, with plans to launch the series production of two aircraft per month from 2026. A lot could happen before then, of course, with delays and problems being a regular feature of test programs for new military aircraft. The transition from testing to production, including qualification and certification, could well mean this target is missed powered by a single F404 engine. The Herjet shows its tandem cockpit configuration and conventional swept-wing planform, with most other modern jet trainer light attack aircraft. The aircraft is roughly 43 feet long, with a wingspan of approximately 36 feet. Planned performance parameters include a maximum speed of Mark 1.2, a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet, and the ability to carry a 6,600-pound payload. As well as this high level of performance, another key to the Herjet's advanced training will be its modern avionics suite and cockpit, including a wide area display WOD. This has led to Turkish media describing it as a fifth-generation training aircraft. This would seem to suggest that the Herjet will also be optimized for training pilots destined for Turkey's future fighter jet, the homegrown TFX. But ultimately, there are plans to outfit the Herjet with radar and mission systems, too, enabling it to undertake combat missions. Turkey already produces a wide range of defensive and offensive air-launched weapons, including precision-guided air-to-ground munitions, some of which have standoff range. This means that it could potentially be armed exclusively with weapons from domestic production sources. While the Herjet clearly has potential for further development for combat missions, it was originally tailored to meet a Turkish Air Force requirement for a training jet that would be able to replace its current fleet of US made T-38 Talons and NF-5 Freedom Fighters. While these have been locally upgraded to the T-38 MRE and NF-5A2000 standards, respectively, they are now aging aircraft and are becoming increasingly difficult to support. The NF-5s are operated by the Turkish STARS aerobatic display team, for which new equipment, especially from a local production source, is a matter of pride as well as sustainability. Currently, the Turkish Air Force operates around 68 T-38 and 19 NF-5, although it's not clear if these would be replaced on a one-for-one -one basis, especially considering the additional capabilities and improved efficiencies promised by the Herjet. Beyond that training role, however, there is scope for the Turkish Air Force to adopt a version of the Herjet for combat roles, as a light fighter and ground attack aircraft. The combat fleet of today's Turkish Air Force is dominated by the F-16, the world's third largest Viper operator. 
Turkey received a total of 270 aircraft delivered in successively more capable Block 30, Block 50, and Block 50 Plus configurations. Local industry has also played a major role in the Turkish F-16 program, with involvement from Thai from the outset, including local assembly of aircraft and production of center-aft fuselage sections and wings. At one time, a significant portion of the Turkish F-16 fleet was planned to be replaced by F-35A stealth fighters, but Turkey was ejected from the Joint Strike Fighter program in 2019, after purchasing Russian-made S-400 air defense systems. Since then, another batch of F-16 has reportedly been discussed, but no deal has been struck. In the meantime, Turkey has been engaged in a comprehensive local upgrade for its existing F-16 fleet. Structural improvement program is now underway to extend the service lives of some of the oldest F-16 in the Turkish inventory, as it prepared to be hit by US sanctions as a result of the S-400 purchase. Turkey also reportedly began stockpiling spare parts for its Vipers in 2019. It could be that a light combat aircraft version of the Herjet provides a partial alternative to more F-16, especially as these come with the strings of US foreign policy considerations and potential future sanctions attached. A more surprising role for the Herjet within the Turkish Air Forces has also been promoted. President Erdogan himself has said that a version of the jet will be able to take off from and land from drone carrier assault ship Anadolu, which entered service with the Turkish Navy. It's obvious that some substantial changes would have to be made to the Herjet before it could operate from the Anadolu, which would need appropriate modifications for the launch and recovery of a fixed-wing manned aircraft. Turkey has already established itself as a major exporter of defense aerospace products, thanks to its successful and combat-proven drones. So far, the customers for the popular Turkish TB2 drones have been dominated by countries that would not be able to buy more advanced equipment from the United States, usually on political or technological risk grounds.